Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Herbal Dreadnoughts, where I'm doing a scenario inspired by Mr. Beep, although a completely different scenario from what he's actually asked me to do. Um, so we're going to take a Japanese battleship. So kind of think end of Second World War. Uh, it's got a heavy cruiser and four destroyers as an escort. And the United States has sent three battleships to destroy it, along with two heavy cruisers and four destroyers as an escort. So this is going to be a really, really tough, tough thing to to deal with. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna build something, and I'll let chat choose which hull we want to go for. So if you want the super battleship, put one in the chat. Modern battleship, put two. Modern battleship one, put three. Experimental, put four. For the modernized dread, three, put five. For the modern dread, two, put six. And then for the modern dread, one, put seven. Because those are the numbers as they are the numbers on the hull. So one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Chat, you can uh, you can choose. The Yamato hull is uh, number two. Thank you for joining the chat, uh, and 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 only eleven thirty eight, and Hobbit Jack. So we've got two votes for one, two votes for four. Three, a couple of votes for five. Five. So it's currently between. This one, this one, and this one. So one, four, or five. I think. What are we? What are we thinking? The modernized dreadnought three. The experimental, or the super. What do we want to see? <laughs> okay. Designing vote comes in on the Mod Dread 3, I think. Um, which I haven't done in a while. <laughs> okay. Let's make this thing huge, because we're going to need all the uh, all the survivability we can possibly, possibly manage. Uh, oh, we're definitely going with the Advanced Pagoda Tower. It has way better stats. Secondary tower, hmm. They're all very similar, but they're all very similar in terms of weight as well. So we'll go with the tall, tall secondary tower four. Um, speed isn't going to be super important, but I don't want it to be bad. Uh, so we'll go with a double diesel because uh, we will need to be kind of mixing it up and. Moving around, hundred really a hundred and ten smoke double double mega funnel complex too. It is then. Hmm. Okay. And how fast can we go on that? V very. <laughs> In fact, we can make it go to stupid speed <laughs> if we want. Damn. Not overly useful in this scenario, but I guess you could just run away. Uh, not very Japanese of me, but uh, 35 knots. Sure, that sounds uh, perfectly sensible. <laughs> right. Uh, guns. We have 18... Or we're all the way down to 13, so it's going to be 18s. Hmm. Hmm. And I'm thinking... It might be... An 18-inch dual setup. Really? Uh, let's try an extra tall. Yeah, extra tall. All right. Uh, 
That works for me. <laughs> yes, 18-inch guns on a Dreadnought. Damn right. <laughs> um, what's the smallest gun I can fit? On the Really? I could fit 3-inch. What about 5-inch guns? That'd be pretty good at vaporizing destroyers. Uh, oh, we go for the, the little 5 inches. I wonder if we can also get 5 inch secondaries. No, we're going to have to be like 3 inch, aren't they? Ooh. Yeah, that works. That works for me. So that should be plenty of anti-destroyer firepower. Um, and I, the, the the aft looks really strange, but yeah, I think this will I think this will work. Right, let's get the rest of the ship built, uh, banned, and in-game action. Praetorianus looking at the enemy ships. Okay. Uh, no looking at the enemy ships. It is. Um, yeah, survivability is going to be my next biggest concern. I'm going to want a super veteran crew as well. Ah, I know I'm overweight. Chew uh, powder. Super heavy. Stand ammo, rangefinder. Uh, I'm gonna need the sonar if I'm gonna avoid. And then armor. It's gonna be a twenty ten on the guns. Eighteen inch main belt. Nine inch main deck. Uh, With token armor everywhere else. Uh, 6% overweight. Hmm. Well, we are going very, very, very fast. <laughs> so I'm quite happy to drop the speed a bit. I think 30 knots is more than acceptable. And I know I could change the the, the funnels, but I, I do like I do like those funnels. Uh, two percent, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can get away with that with the anti torpedo. Um, I probably could. You you're right, W. Can I eliminate an entire funnel? No. Uh, I could maybe go to the mega funnel complex ones. I do want to have the Mega Funnel Complexes, though, because they are fun. Yeah, that's a little over the top, but it does work. Separate them a little bit so I can get the gun on. Lovely. There we go. Saved a little bit more weight. Um, and we can up upper armor. I'm pretty happy with the main citadel, to be honest. 89 should be pretty hard for the enemy to get damage in. Um, so really, it would be the belts. I wonder if we could go to like a 3-inch extended. Yes. How about 4 Maybe 4.5? No. Nope. 4.2. Okay. So just a little bit more. A little bit more protection. Uh, we've got maximum bulkheads. Uh, yes. This will work. And uh, we don't have to do very much balancing at all. Which is uh, a pleasant surprise. There we go. The uh, <laughs> the Huger 
Um, I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, sure. Perfectly sensible thing to build. <laughs> Look how long it is. Crazy. Um, I could go one mega, one non-mega. Uh, I know, no, it's not optimal down PUE, but it does have a nice aesthetic to it, and it is perfectly balanced. There are no two-inch signaling guns, but we do have three-inch guns for for that. Hey, John Craig, uh, did Twitch not notify you? It is. It does tend to be bad for that. Are you on the Discord, uh, John Craig? Because uh, you'll get a you'll get a notification through that as well, um, which tends to be a bit more reliable. Okay, the heavy cruiser. Oh, actually, I I, I have a lot of them. <laughs> um. I don't like any of these. I'm going to go with a new one. Uh, I'm going to go with the Heavy Scout Cruiser. Because I seem to remember that being quite a nice little ship. I'm going to go for a big one. Uh, yeah, it gets all these cool towers. Yeah, it's not these ones you want. It is the mini tower. Has much, much, much better stats. Really? You didn't get one from there either? Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Um, now, the purpose of the heavy cruiser, obviously, it it's mainly going to assist me in killing the destroyers and then hopefully killing the heavy cruiser. So it's going to be mainly focused on taking out the light ships and then we'll want some torpedoes. So that we can kind of nip in and um, deal some damage to the uh, battleship with some torpedoes if we get a chance. Right, 48 smoke. Yeah, just put a single dual angled funnel 4 in, I think. Uh, although I might be able to do a double funnel design. Might be a bit more interesting. Less efficient, but it does look cool. In fact, I can even go for two of these, I think. Yeah. Two of these. No. There we go. Something a bit different. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hey, Mr. Short. Um... Scenario is uh, one uh, battleship against three, um, but the enemy do have uh, some other ships as well, uh, like cr uh, heavy cruiser and some uh, destroyers as well. Guns, what have we got? Elevens, tens, nines, and then not eights. They would be terrible. Six inch. Six inch look tiny on this. <laughs> I think I think we'll go with the elevens. Just on the off chance that we are able to get some damage in on the battleship with them. Is that far over the top? No. Uh, I think ABX triple will work fine. Uh, torpedo launchers. Oh, this one doesn't have underwaters. Okay, so we'll definitely need a nice little torpedo spread. I think that should be more than enough. Um, right. Okay, the rest of the ship will... Oh, speed. I mean, it's already fast enough. 35 knots is fine. Uh... 
and I'm massively overweight. Uh, right. Okay, uh, let's go 14, 7 on the guns. Main belt 12, deck 6. Don't need much protection on this bit. Okay, 10% overweight, that's not good. <laughs> I can slow down more, which means, again, really don't need. That much in the terms of funnel. The 30 knots is fine for a heavy cruiser. Um, oops. Probably just do one. Wow. Really did not need two funnels at all. Just needed one of them. It saves a little bit of weight. Not a lot. Uh, hey, Nage. Yeah, they are cool looking. Elevate X and have it super fire over the tops. Uh, I mean, it could do. But, I mean, it's already got a pretty good angle. And it's not improved that much. Even if you take the torpedo launchers off. Um... I know what you're saying, uh, but uh, I think I think we'll be okay. Go for two triple launches. Right, let's uh, move the actually. Take the torpedo launchers off for now. I'm going to start doing some rudimentary balancing. Uh, I need to deal with that four way offset. And I need some secondary guns as well. Oh, I am underweight. I just noticed. The torpedo is really all adding all of that. Jeez. Um, oh, Wonka, thank you very much for the resub. Five months. It's crazy. Okay, we can only get, we can get some, t we can get a two inch signaling gun in, basically. Uh, and that's it. But uh, I'm fine with that. Um, and then, yeah, torpedo launches. Maybe a couple of triple launches at the back here. Let's go reduced for a single shot. Oh, are they even worth having at that point? You know what? Screw it. That's the destroyer's job. Um... Bug of the torpedoes. There we go. Very simple cruiser. Simple, clean, elegant. A more civilized weapon. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, Pat's familiar. Yes, I'll go and give her some. I, I probably could get them free turning if I wanted to. But I, I like having the guns nice and close to the middle. Because it means when I take fire, they will absolutely not be coming through the extended, which is kind of here. Uh, so that it's all nicely, safely tucked away inside the main citadel. All right. Destroyer time. Uh, I already have one. But uh, it's not really the type I want. Uh, I want... A modern destroyer. Just the modern destroyer one, I think. 
Uh, I want them nice and small. These are just going to be kept in reserve and they're going to be there to kind of shoo away the enemy destroyers. But uh, hopefully... coming in to blap a uh, enemy um, enemy battleship possibly um, if I get the chance right in that case Guns, mm, probably, probably even a three-inch gun. It's going to be enough. With. Yeah, really, I want these to be able to spam out torps. Oh, my word. I hate balancing these things so much. Um... <laughs> Torps. Uh, go maximum bulkheads because I can increase the displacement in the actual thing. Hmm. The bigger one might be easier to balance. <laughs> Look at that! It's like, yeah, I've got an halfway offset. Change my mind. Always changing my mind. Do a more traditional build. Just stick them on the back. Uh, Eighteen. Fifteen. Eleven. Jesus, just stick, just stick the quintuple on there. Eight point eight percent is fine. Um, main belt and forward belt, so that we have a balanced ship. <laughs> Uh, can actually get more armor on this thing. Get a lot more armor on this thing. Ah, yes, max armored destroyers. Always fun. There we go. And then I can actually just reduce displacement a bit. Can make this 2,000 tons even. Not quite. Yes, there we go. No, I don't like putting torpedoes on the front. <laughs> Plus, I don't think you actually. Okay. I don't think. Oh, you might be able to do it on this ship, but uh, it's tricky because there's an invisible wall there. Anyway, I'm happy enough with that. 
Uh, I'm not allowed to look at the enemy ships for what I remember. Or am I? <laughs> Chat. Was I banned from that? I think I was. Yes, I was. I'm not allowed to look at the American ships. So, uh, we'll just have to go with that. No lookies. <laughs> no peeking. <laughs> I can remember if that was for the previous one. Uh, previous uh, video that I did, or whether it was this one. I know, and torpedo spam. <laughs> oh. Okay. They look pretty chunky, and can't tell nothing else too much shocking. But uh, look at this bad boy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. 18 inch guns and a modernized dreadnought. That's what you want. <laughs> okay. Um, the destroyers. This is going to be. Want them in reserve. Cruiser. I'm going to put you on. Screen duty for the battleship. Save your torpedoes. Destroyers, turn them off. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you, Mr. Short, for the resub. Uh, and a sentiment that I heartily agree with. Uh, did I get the scenario sent by Discord? I will double check. I'm sure I did. And I then promptly forgot about it. <laughs> but yes, no, I, I'm, I'm sure I did. We'll do that one next, if that's all right with you. Cruiser is not on screen. Oh, yeah, you're right. Destroyers have gone on screen. How did I manage that? Right, there you go. Right, you lot. Get over here. Well, the Americans in sight. Let's see what uh, see what they're packing. Eight guns, eighteens. Okay, would be pretty fair on paper one on one. Then, unfortunately, it's not one v one. It's one v three, which I dislike immensely. Do, do, do. Look at it go. <laughs> I know I'm probably going to lose this, but that is a that is a fun uh, that's a fun ship to have. <laughs> right. Yeah, looks like they're coming in fairly normally. What's the heavy cruiser like? Torpedo stuffed. Of course it is. Ugh. Well, we're opening fire. With a 7% chance to hit as well. Look at that. Turn fire. We have scored a couple of hits uh, on the Americans. Hasn't done a lot, but we have scored a couple of hits, which is quite nice. We'll continue to advance on them. Hits, but that was to the uh, aft deck, so I don't, I'm not really too too worried about that. I 
What are you shooting at? What the hell? They shot up a destroyer. I think that destroyer just got hit by accident. That's a little harsh. Yeah, it got smacked by an 18 inch shell. Americans are flinging. Yeah, chew powder. Only standard, though. But uh, that means it's going to be hard to make them blow up. And, uh, yeah, they're going to be plenty able to get damage on me. Still though, we're doing okay. It's like I, they're uh, not wanting to come too close. Do we out um, pace them? Oh yeah, we outpace them hugely. They're uh, slow and fat things. Look at that, 18.6 knots. Well, makes them an easier target, I guess. I know, pre-dreadnought slow. Well, I don't want it to turn into a too much of a slugfest. I am trying to close, but the enemy is pulling back. Might be worth targeting the Arizona, who's broadside on, basically. Heavy crews are getting involved. That is not the ship I built. What happened there? That's a totally different ship to the one I built. That is, I mean, that is one of my designs. Um, I must have clicked on something incorrect. Jesus Christ, leave the poor destroyers alone. Using my own tactics against me. Do, 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 do. Hello there! Uh, I don't care what is here. Finally made it to a stream. Welcome, welcome. One hit. Well, I don't mind them obsessively trying to kill the destroyers. I mean, they do have those torpedoes on them. Yeah, we're just not getting a lot of... Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, they have the firepower advantage. They can uh, afford to do annoying things like that. Flooding hit on Arizona. They only have a few bulkheads, these American ships, so we might be able to flood them out. I forgot to save the design. I must have, must have done. I am quite sleepy this evening. 
They are extremely cursed. Destroyers, it would seem. Oh well, if they're acting as a shell sponge, I don't mind too much. Bloody hell. It's so mean. Torpedoes in the water. Not mine. But uh, missing... Missing meat. Ooh, Arizona. I'm to you. Must have taken a whole pile of hits. There's a lot of flying on the Arizona. Arizona goes down. Okay, that's that's pretty big. I uh, know. Focus on Iowa. Although the Dallas is coming close, so we might have to deal with her in a minute. Oh my goodness! Torpedoes. Ba -da -da. Overindulged in the whiskey. <laughs> is that possible? Oh, you no, know, in fact, I know it is very possible. Whiskey. I love whiskey, but uh, does not agree with me, um, sadly. Well, let's see if we can thin out their destroyers in revenge. Okay, no. Was that an 18 inch gun? That's so harsh. <laughs> AI is just like. Nah, we're gonna just. Uh, Zap you with zap all your, your support ships. Ooh, crap. That is a torpedo. And there's actually a lot of torpedoes. Hard to starboard. I only took the one. It's not too bad. Pretty sure they came from Dallas. Might need to. Uh, dissuade her from doing that again. Need Dallas to stop zipping around like a crazy thing. Yeah, even more torpedoes coming. Ow. Good flooding hit on Iowa. Now we're going to need to shoot at Dallas a bit. There we go. Lovely. One shot. Should cause us some problems. And that'll cause her a lot more. <laughs> you 
Your Maureen's just going to have to fend for herself. Yeah, we're just being slowly worn down. Massachusetts is a very tempting target, though. She's pretty much undamaged, though. But if I shoot at Iowa, I'm just going to be wasting shells. I'm not going to do anything at that angle. Oh, now Massachusetts turned end on as well. God damn it. Just fight me, god damn it. Let's fling some HE shells at Iowa then. <laughs> no, so your support ships. Yeah, well, hopefully. There we go. Took out a main gun. On Iowa. That's very nice. Okay. I have to focus back on mass now. Uh. There we go. Lovely hits. Come on. Wiggle. Lovely. There we go. Excellent wheeling. Are oh, we just going to get... We're gonna either going to run out of shells or we're going to run out of structure. Badly damaged though. She might sink from that. Oh, she might. That's a lot of flooding. Yeah, down she goes. Okay. We have 3% structure remaining. West Virginia is out of torpedoes. Ooh. Yeah, I might run out of ammunition, but I'm going down fighting, damn it. Uh, Iowa can't hit us from this angle. Because uh, these two turret... Oh no, this turret is in action. But she's deciding to fire at um, the, the heavy cruise... all the way over there and now she's firing back at us flooding flooding is good no I need AG at this angle she's turning but not enough Beautiful. Come on, put it down. Come on, 2% structure remaining. Flooding hit. Oh, we got a... <laughs> oh my. Well, this is not going the American's way, is it? No, target West Virginia. I'm not going to bother going after the destroyers. But taking out a heavy cruiser as well. That might be quite, quite the scout. Yeah, no, no engines, no rudder, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> but all the guns still work. And we still have 168 shells. So god damn it. 
We're going to do our best. Uh, do the destroyers have torpedoes left? No, they do not. <laughs> well, our two remaining ships might be uh, absolutely battered. But the Americans have absolutely no hope at this point, and they are just running off. So our valiant last stand here proving success successful. Wow. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. How much were those battleships? 292 million each. Um, so just coming up on 300, and ours was 465. So they definitely had the advantage. Um, damn. There you go. Don't count out <laughs> the modernized dreadnought <laughs> and uh, oh yes we've got a destroyer as well and a testament I think to the slightly unusual armor scheme that I've I've been really enjoying a lot if you get uh, an all or nothing scheme like this um, it it's surprisingly effective you do, you do get your ships do take damage but you, you can really pack a lot in. Like a 30 knot ship, 18 inch guns. Oh, yes. And another hit on a destroyer. <laughs> We're not done yet. <laughs> Finally getting to see the uh, casements in action. <laughs> Uno reverse guard. I should play Sprocket again, Mr. Short. You're absolutely right. Um, there's been a big... There's been a lot of updates to it. Oh, yes! The Reno as well. Screw you, destroyers. You're going to get sunk too. gonna love it sent out on a kamikaze mission and comes back <laughs> smashed to bits but uh victorious i mean the ship would probably sink with that amount of damage um but uh damn yeah three battleships down and two heavy cruisers as well very nice how much damage did we absorb yeah look at that dealt 32 thousand damage that is crazy <laughs> and she took uh about five thousand damage in in return including 77 hits from the enemy 18 inch guns that is insane 77 hits from 18 inch guns and didn't sink <laughs> and they were punchy like that the, they were they were really Really going for it. Oof. Impressive. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, those of you watching on uh, on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.